Oh. No, no, that's right. TV. So I'm just going to wait for a few people to dial in, but I thought while I wait, who's the little guy? So many people ask me about Leo, and he's super cranky to be on camera today. But um, say hi Leo! Hi Leo! Nah, sorry, and he's off. Hi, so thanks for di dialing in today. We're on our fifth episode of Kevin Murphy TV and we've had so many of our amazing team share their knowledge with you all. And every week we're looking at having, you know, three to five different sections. So keep your eyes open for the team who are gonna present what's new, just some really great ideas and concepts. And so I'm really looking forward to sharing all this amazing information with you while you guys are at home. So we're just gonna wait a few more seconds for people to dial in. But today I'm here in Sydney, Australia and uh, welcome to my house. Um, it's quite funny to have such a huge group of people who are in your space that, you know, as travelers and educators you know we're not home that much so it's been such a really weird and interesting time now to you know work out new dynamic ways that we can all work and do our jobs hi Matt. hi nathan hi guys hi jen leland's on exciting so today um i want to talk to you all about cultivating deeper connections and I'm not an expert but I've got some ideas for everyone on what they can do during this time to really uh, work with their clients the salons and really help to make a plan on how to really engage everyone who comes into our salon and really get them to you know be a huger part of the business or when you get back to the salon, how you can actually set your days up to generate more income and cash flow. So these are just some ideas I had, and you know I work with stylists and colorists all the time. So this is coming from you know a slight color angle today as well. So even I know, you know, right now, the way the world is, you know, a lot of us are completely out of routine and out of structure. So the one thing that we all know is structure is key to being human. And, you know, when you get up in the morning, even now we have nowhere to go, we need some kind of routine and structure to be, you know, productive. And I found myself at the beginning of this period, constantly looking at the news and, you know, getting those updates from Facebook and Instagram and watching all these news forums constantly. And I just felt like it was not being productive for me. So one of the key things I've really started to do is limit the social media and the news that I'm catching. You know, one other part is there's so much content and information that's thrown at us now every day. So the key thing is really being clear about this period of time and what we want to do with it. So, you know, I know that I normally work with a mentor that helps me develop and grow. So where are those people right now? Let's really get good at connecting with them and really helping us to be concise about the decisions we're making. Who are we listening to and what are we watching? Does it align with our normal thoughts and ideas? You know, we need to really support each other, encourage each other. And, you know, there's so many different ways that you can do this. So now that you guys are out of the salon, you could set up an engagement group for your Instagram to all comment and connect to really help to get higher ratings through that feed and that time. So there's lots of different things that you can do to encourage your community. A lot of us artists 
hate finances and they don't love doing their books, their finances, you know, knowing where they're at. And this is a real time to get on board and get to your accountant and work out what do my finances actually look like? How many weeks can I not afford to be in the salon? What type of money do I need coming in and coming out right now? So get all of that done, speak to your landlord, um, on your rental property where you live, if you need to speak to someone about reducing your rent, you know, everyone's doing it. So don't feel hard to have those tough conversations right now. Really get ahead of where you need to be. And you know, don't wait till you can't pay your rent to have that conversation. Get ahead of it a few weeks before and really have that conversation. And there's some great apps out there. So a lot of us don't know how to use Excel. We're not good at putting these things together. You know, there's a one called Mint Connect. And so you can do, and it links with your tax. So you can use products like that, or even Clarity Money is another really good one that you can work out how to do your budget. Just looking at all these comments popping up through here, trying to follow. Um, for the team, you know, if you're a salon owner, you know, working with each team member is really important right now. So setting up a plan, if I'm an apprentice or even a senior, what does it look like for my, you know, it looks like in Australia, we're in a 90 day lockdown at the moment where I live. So we know until June 29th, I'm gonna be at home, which is foreign to me. So during this time, I've now got three months, which I've never had in my life to be at home, really amazing. And you know, you have to be grateful for the time and opportunity to actually learn and do new things now. So during this 12 weeks, what is it that I want to be able to do at the end of this time that I can't do now? So if I'm a colorist and I'm not very good at balayage, maybe I can get a mannequin head and tripod. There's lots of great content online. I can map out a plan and actually start doing some color at home during this time. For the business owners, it's really important to really work with your team and encourage them to have the outcomes that's gonna help them in their role as well. So give them feedback, give them things that they need to work on during this time. Um, you know, that mental support I know is so important. We educate every day in our roles and we stand up in front of thousands of people at times. And even doing a Facebook Live today, I was like, oh my God, I don't know how this is gonna go. What am I gonna talk about? So I feel like in a time of such angst and flux, no matter how good you are at what you do, there's a real sense of uncertainty. And people need that mental support right now to feel really um, good and on track with what they're doing. So connect with all of those people and create some certainty and good foundation in what they do. So the best forums that you can join, you know, there's so many WhatsApp groups that people have that they constantly uh, messaging each other and I know yesterday I was working on something and Wade sent me something really funny and so I was having a good laugh and you know just keeping our day super light during this time and um, there's a really cool app has anyone joined house party anyone I can't see so um, there's a really cool app called house party and I'm going to show you how it works so if you get on and you basically get on your phone and you call a friend. So I'm just gonna call a friend. Let me see. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, so you are on the Facebook Live. <laughs> Lucky for you. Um, so you get on and you really get your friend and here's Joe. And you can talk to her. So if I'm going to work through maybe a workbook right now, because we're rewriting some workbooks, literally I can say, hey, Joe, can you just hang there? And we're just going to chill. And I just want to read some things to you while we work on this. And people can join the room. And so, oh, wow, we've got another friend joining us. Hey. Oh, and Wade, look. So now I've got all my crew. So they're all here. What's going on, guys? So they're all on here. Janine looks like she's in the most beautiful place. So they're all on here and we can just talk about what Wade's finding on Instagram right now that's hilarious. Or um, if I wanna actually do some work, I might call the girls and 
work through some of our techniques and information. So thanks guys for dialing in. So you can see how simple and easy it is to work. Get it, I really love it, it's so easy to use. And once you get your friends in, you can lock your room. So these are my people, I'm gonna lock the room now so no one else can join us. So, you know, it's, it's good fun. I was on a call on the weekend with my sister and another friend from Los Angeles and Peter McDonald dials in to be the fourth person. So really cool and really fun. So uh, house party. So now Nathan's joined and wants to talk. Sorry, Nathan, we're going. Um, so really cool apps like that. So work out what it is that you wanna do. And um, even if you had Q and A's where people are having a conversation and then down the bottom, you can just get them up and talk about hair or technical information if you're an educator and doing a workshop. So there's so many different forums you can use for this. Um, uh, sorry, Nathan, you want in. Okay, clients. This is one of the key things for salons who, you know, your clients, what are we doing with them right now? Um, Louise Murphy came up with an idea he posted on Facebook and I absolutely loved it. So he said, during this time, we should get our clients to make a pledge to not do their own hair at home. And so they wouldn't do their at home, hair at home, they'd make a post and they'd mention the salon, they would mention you and they could hashtag, you know, salon Bondi Beach, best salon Bondi Beach, Kate Reed hair, and they would tag the salon and they could put a beautiful picture of themselves, the salon, whatever it is. And when they come back in next time they come, you could give them, you know, a free treat me or a, you know, some kind of up service rather than discount to really encourage them um, on giving A, the salon a post, B, supporting us and not doing their hair at home right now like a lot of people are doing. And you know, really connecting with these clients and during this time saying, hey, this is the opportunity to grow your hair. Let's get your hair into better condition and I can recommend a treatment for you or have you got any problems today that I can solve for you? So if I'm at home and I don't wanna be blow drying my hair, I don't wanna be using hot tools, is there products that I can use like a wash and leave in that I can now learn to dry my hair naturally. So these are the key things. We have distributors I've seen um, in the US who are actually delivering the products straight to our clients. So if I connect and I find out my client's problem and they need a smooth again wash and smooth again, um, and then I'm gonna um, get my client these products I can actually either send from the salon if my salon's still open. Secondly, connect with my distributor and get them to send it out. So there's lots of different ways. We don't have to be inactive now that our businesses may not be open. Secondly is um, all of those clients that come into the business, you know, as a owner of a business, you might not have had time to connect with them. So now's the time to connect with every client that comes into the business and say, hey, thanks for coming in for the last few years. Um, I really today wanted to connect and just say thank you. So when they're going back to the salon, they're thinking about us and also connect with them on Instagram and Facebook so that they then can see and always first at minds our salon. Then once you've got them on that forum, you know, all the different team who work in that salon should be making content for that salon to post. So that client isn't necessarily connected to that individual only. They're connected to everyone in that business. And if I'm off sick, I feel like I can come in and I can go get my hair done by someone else because I know that whole team's amazing. And I think in the day we live now, all of the clients are connected to the individual, but we need to start to reconnect them to everyone and everything. And we've just gotten so busy, it can get a little bit isolated. Um, so a few, few ideas there. Um, now different mediums, if you're not a busy hairstylist, what I'm thinking is, you know, Instagram and Facebook are great and they're great for Facebook to do tutorials for your clients on your page. Instagram's great for visibility and ideas, but you're never really gonna get new clients. You might get new clients, but something like Google Ads, you're gonna get a lot of new clients that way. So if I'm posting 
on Google Ads and I'm gonna make an ad for myself, I need to really put a solution um, on here so that people are looking to find me. So something like balayage specialist, color co correction expert. And now we know that people with a problem are searching and they're looking for somewhere to go to get their hair done with a problem. And so now I'm gonna find the place that I'm gonna to go to. So short words with the customer in mind. So there's um, Google My Business, the app, it makes it really easy to use. Even you individual stylists, um, something like now, getting a review from those people who come into your business. I know when I just moved back to Sydney, I didn't know where to go for so many things and I would get on Google and even looking for a dentist, I'd get on Google and I'd have a look and I'd look at their reviews and I'd read them. So anyone who's new to your area is Googling, having a look. So make sure you can reach out to all your clients now and get reviews so you can start to really build that platform for yourself. Tim, I know you're there and I haven't let you get a uh, word in because I've been talking. Okay, well, all good. Everybody's just loving the content. They're saying thanks for sharing, but we don't have any questions at this time, right? Oh, good. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, nice. Thanks, everyone, for joining. It's a good turnout for so early in the morning, late at night, and uh, afternoon in the US. All right, so now's the time to get savvy in the way we set our days up when we're going back to the business. So um, I know in New South Wales, where I am currently, the 29th of June looks like the date that we will all be released, um, which is exciting. So the 29th of June. So in knowing that, I feel pretty comfortable with thinking the way we're tracking right now looks quite good. Um, that we will be able to get back to work. So at this time, I will have a lot of clients 90 days out with good gray regrowths. So what we can do is start to think about how do we schedule days to get more clients in and to create more revenue because we're gonna be flooded like Christmas. Maybe worse than Christmas because people can come in either side. So we're gonna be busy stylists, are gonna be hectically busy. So think about days where I could get in all my gray new growth clients. I could create a name for the day like a, let's think, like just a basic goodbye gray day. And I could book all my clients 30 minutes apart from nine until five if I want to be that busy. And someone who's not busy or an up and coming stylist can work with me for the day and literally wash up every client and blow dry every client. And I can fit more clients in by thinking about how I'm gonna schedule my days. Who are these clients that I can make these gray days from and really book them in and get them in and out of the, the salon really quickly. Um, during this time, we know that people are gonna to wanna to color their hair. We've seen it. Products like Retouch Me, and that's just a bit bright there, but you can see Retouch Me. People should be using Retouch Me at home. So those clients, we know who they are that come in, we know what depth of hair they are. We can contact them now and say, hey, during this time, I've got a solution for you. You know, I know you're at home. I know your hair's gray. No one wants to look at themselves, even if they're going, not going out in public like that. So the solution is Retouch Me. How do you use it? Well, there's YouTubes on the Kevin Murphy channel on how Retouch Me works. It talks about the technology, the cationic technology, how it's not flaky, how it doesn't you know, stain. You could leave it on your hair for five days and you're not gonna rub it off on your pillow. So products like this are really key now to really get your clients through this time. So there's four shades and just jump onto the Kevin Murphy YouTube channel and you can watch that from start to finish. You could also make a post with yourself using it and you know put it on your Instagram, put it on your Facebook, but really connect with all those clients as well because you guys can targetly market to those people who you know who they are and what they need right now and we do have time. Color correction. People will be doing their hair at home, so we could be busier with color correction when we go back to the salon. So what does that look like? And you know, there's a lot of people at the moment with a lot of angst about 
hairdressers sending home coloring kits to the house of their client. Think to us is some hairdressers will do it, some hairdressers are completely against it. Whatever you decide, there's a couple of things to think about. You know, if I'm not skin testing my client, I've provided a color to them, you know, they have an allergy, they overlap it in their hair and now they've got banding, there could be a whole lot of problems. Now, if I didn't send it, I'm not as concerned, but I do know when we go back to work, these clients will be paying more for their hair color. It'll be creating more work for us and we'll be making more money because unfortunately they've got a bigger job or fortunately for us, now we're busier. Um, you know, if I'm a salon, so another idea, another idea is if we're a salon who I know that I'm stumped for cash right now, I don't have a lot of money, I can't pay my rent in two months, I can't pay my staff in two weeks, you know, I need to generate some money today to keep me going on a longer period. So ideas, and I heard this one from our dear friend Nathan Gorman who um, was talking to me about it, was ideas like creating a value voucher gift card. If I buy a voucher for $100, I get an extra $20 in service. I can limit these to two per client who comes in or new clients and that's it for the year. They can buy these now and so if I bought $200, I'd have $240 worth of added service. We don't need to think about these as discounts. We need to think about these as adding extra to our clients when they come in. So now I can do a treat me. I could do a root shadow. I could do a zone tone. Any service that might be a little bit more upsell to this client who I'm gonna add extra value. And maybe they haven't tried these before because they haven't wanted to spend the money. This is the opportunity now to get these clients to buy these vouchers, come in for these services, and then on a longer term scale, they might love it. And when they come back, it might be their new go-to service. So we can create a lot of um, money today and generate this income to help us to get through this time. So be creative, come up with these ideas and really have a think about what we wanna do. Um, as far as education videos and styling goes, I know that I watch those. At times I want ideas, I've got a small child, I want my hair to look good and I don't wanna to have to spend an hour or two hours because I just don't have it. So how can I make a ponytail with curls or a nice wave in the front and I can use session spray and I can put it in a really beautiful smooth ponytail and I can just tong two pieces of my hair and make it look really great and beautiful. How do I do that? So, you know, we can be making these videos at home of ourselves and we can be creating all of this content for when we go back to the salon. Now, I think with this time, we could create six months of content. You know, every day we could be doing one or two videos of just quick tips and ideas that we can be using. If it's products that we have, you know, how are we layering products, using fresh hair, look now dry conditioner is a really great product to extend the life of your hair and even ever smooth like i'm obsessed with ever smooth because since i've been using it i can go out in the you know humid weather and my wild frizzy hair doesn't become untamed so it's giving me a longer life out of my hairstyle and for someone like me who doesn't want to do my hair it's absolutely priceless so all of these videos that you can be doing um, for your clients and coming up with these ideas during this time. So um, I think make a list, you know, really have a look at what other people are doing. You don't need to be the one that's creating all the ideas, but just have a list and put down all the things that you think you could give and speak to your client, you know, about what they can do at home and how they can style their hair better and make better solutions. You know, our team have been talking about ways that you can naturally dry your hair with leave-in products. So it could be something as simple as getting leave-in repair and sectioning your hair into three sections and plaiting it and sleeping on it overnight and then getting up and undoing it and just combing it through with a wide tooth comb. 
So we don't need to get like super jazzy because you know we need people to be able to do these looks at home. I can see, um, oh, so we're asking Ash, Tim, I can see there's a few questions popping up about asking our stylist to wait for us. That's the pledge. Correct, Kate. We've got that one for you. Yeah, good. So I think the key part is right now is if our clients are going to see other people, you know, if I can start to do my own hair, I might do it. So let's, in my opinion, try and direct traffic constantly back to our, our salons. Get busier, how do we book in people? You know, let's be more effective with how we're booking these people in. So, you know, this is a whole list of questions and thoughts and ideas that I've had and, you know, I've been watching every week and the government rules change in every place. So, you know, simple things is when you're open, what the message is on how you're cleaning and sterilizing everything in your salon. Because prior, I thought to myself, I would never go right now and get my hair done because I would not want to catch anything, salons are busy. You know, all of those things as simple as they are on the distance between people in the salon. How are we cleaning between each client? You know, this is the message that we need to keep making really clear and speaking to our clients. So in summary, you know, don't take the business or the value out of what we do. You know, work together, stick together and create a larger plan right now. So that's my message for today. Um, one moment. I'm gonna take a few questions and if anyone has any questions, I know people might have questions about product and other things. So um, if anyone wants to put any questions in, feel free to go for it. Yes, Kate, we had quite a few questions on yesterday's episode. Can you, can you give a quick rundown on PhD? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I see it's been a huge topic, PhD. We're really, really excited and I actually have it here. I thought that might be the case. PhD, have you guys seen it? Yes, there's lots of loves going on and our liquid activator. So um, PhD is an alkaline to acid transformer. And so what it is, is we put it inside our Color Me shades and we can use either five or 10% of these special drops. And what they do is they lower the pH of the color. What that does on the hair is it doesn't open the cuticle as much. Acidic things will contract the cuticle. So in contracting a cuticle, it makes it really super shiny and smooths the outside of the hair. And what that does is it reflects light better and it looks really shiny. The hair feels super glossy. In my opinion, it's much easier to blow dry. And um, the toning service, if you're toning, you can tone, deepen, blend gray with it. And if you're toning, it's a much faster service than um, using just your shades by themselves. So you can get a really good quick tone at the basin because we're using it on um, shampoo towel dried hair so angel wash and then uh, angel rinse and then we would use our PhD on the hair and you know I actually colored my hair yesterday how about that home hairdressing at its best um, so I had foiled just this piece here because I felt like I needed a little face frame and you can see here I have toned the new growth here with a 10.00 and I used 11.81 on these mid lengths to ends. I used 10% PHD and I developed it for 10 minutes. So you can see um, it looks bright, it looks shiny. I think the depth, the PHD with 10% can even make it look a little bit cooler. Um, I love the product for those root smudges and shadows. So if you're lightening your client and you want to color it back, but you'll still want to keep a really nice variation, it's beautiful. So you can just see the softness of it through here. It almost has a sheer kind of feeling and look to it. So um, the product creates now a whole lot of possibilities that, you know, 
quick toning and it lasting is key. So I love it for that. Um, deepening is great as well. We have, a, we have a question. Do you, do you, or can you put HD in all color? So, so, well, no, not all color. So PHD is developed just for the shades. So you wouldn't put it in a lightener because it's not like, it's made up of a def totally different makeup. So it's not made for something like that. And high lifts and toners are formulated completely different. So this was made specifically for the shades to lower the pH. Um, and they're only mixed with the shades. And you can add booster to your shades and get a really beautiful result as well. Um, we made a liquid 3%. So the liquid 3% now means that you can use your shade and you can mix it in the applicator bottle. I just had all these on standby because I knew this would be a question today. Um, so I mix it in my bottle and I put in my liquid activator. I still measure, I use scales because I love to have everything precise. Um, and I think that's key when you're starting to get really unique formulas. So I would pop my bottle on my scales, I put in my liquid activator, I put in my shade, I put in my PHD, and inside there's this mixing sphere. So you can see the mixing sphere, and you pop it in and you literally just shake it. And then it's so liquidy, runny, and you just give it a good shake and it mixes together beautifully. And then we literally shh, just can apply it through the hair. And this type of um, viscosity is really light and it spreads really quickly and easily. So I generally just work through the hair, use it down the hair, and then I just massage it through. And so you still wanna get it through each section of the hair really well, evenly. And I like to use my basin comb just to comb it through to make sure it's really even. So you can do it in the chair, you can do it in the basin. It's up to you where you do it, but it's a really quick service, great for glossing, glazing. And um, the great thing as well, which I didn't mention before, because it lowers the pH, we all have those clients who have got those super over lightened ends, and then they've got like natural new growths. And often when we tone it, no matter what, even with like a 1%, it would shift their natural hair. And they have got that baby fine hair that we can't do anything about. By now adding PHD into it, and I always use 10% when I'm doing this, is now we get no shift. So we know that we can tone that platinum blonde, but we can also have you know, that new growth so that when we then go to re-lighten our client, we're working on that natural hair still. So really key things. Um, I think this product, it opens up a whole lot of possibilities. It also makes it that you don't need other product lines in your salon. So we have a lot of people who love liquid colors and they love acidic colors. And this is for those clients. They're gonna absolutely love it. Okay, we have another question. Can you explain with PhD why you recommend the finishing regimen of Angel Wash and Rinse? Yeah, okay. So um, with Color Me, Restore, we never wanted to, you know, really wash or use anything that's quite strong on the hair. And Restore, Restore sorry, works as a really great astringent. And what it does is it cleanses and conditions at the same time. And we always found with Color Me, this was enough to give you a really great result. And we wanted the hair to really last and stay without washing it for 24 hours or 48 even in some situations because we found that that was the best way to stabilize, to hold and for the color to last. And using Staying Alive, working at a low pH, um, it really helps to shut down and seal the cuticle. Now, Color Me pH is higher. When we then go and we put PHD into our color, we change the way the color's made up. So now we're looking at more of an acidic formulation. What it's doing is we've washed the hair before we apply it and we apply it to the hair. It's really sitting on the outside of the hair and it's really smoothing that whole cuticle layer down and the cuticle 
and the color is more now depositing on the outside of the hair and the inner cuticle layer. And so it's not penetrating as deep into the cortex. When we have used Restore to wash the hair, because it's all sitting more on the outside, it can feel a little bit heavier. And you know, generally with all of our line, we really love to finish the hair to feel weightless and to really have the styling products that you choose do the work. So if you're just using Restore on top of PhD, it can feel a little bit heavy on the hair. Therefore, we found that for the best result with the way that we recommend doing hair is Angel Wash and Angel Rinse is a lightest, lighter product and it helps to cleanse the hair and to remove the excess color of the hair, but it doesn't strip anything and it leaves the hair weightless as well. So um, that's why the finishing regime in a long story, <laughs> not a short one, is different. Does that make sense? Yes, Kate, we've got another question. So back to some of your business tips and returning to salon life, do you have any suggestions on maybe uh, spreading out the client scheduling so that you don't continually experience a surge and then a lull because everybody's trying to come back all at once? I don't think that, I honestly think that you just need to get, I would get all my clients in and through. And so, um, and I would give them all a reason that they need to come back. So if I haven't been to the salon in three or four months, because the reality is now, if we're shut for three months, it's one more month that, well, oh gosh, our cat's going crazy. Um, if I haven't been to the salon for three months, like in New South Wales now, we're closed for three months one more month, I may not have been to the salon. So I haven't been to the salon for four months. So if I'm gonna go get my hair foiled, I need to foil it. But then I also might need a new growth shadow. I would get all my clients through and get like all their foils in. And then I would rebook them for six weeks and say, okay, today we got a much bigger job because you haven't been here for four months. So today I'm gonna to foil it all and I'm gonna put the lightness back in, but I want you to come back in six or eight weeks and we're gonna put a really good shadow through here or we're gonna counteract some of that warmth in those areas or we're gonna put some, you know, whatever it is, we're gonna refine it. You're gonna give a PhD service. So maybe you don't do everything in one visit today because we know that people are coloring their hair now and they're sitting in the salon for four to six hours. We do not have time for those huge jobs. So we want to get people in, we want to start the work and we want to rebook them and continue so that we're busy and we're maintaining it. And setting our clients up like this will actually explain to them and give them a journey that they need to come on with us and why they need to come back. So um, we often have clients that come in and they come back in in six months it's really not sustainable for a salon to see a client every six months. We want to start educating our clients on, okay, this service we're going to foil. Next service, we're going to do a root shadow. The next service after that, we're just going to gloss and refine everything and then we'll go back to foiling it again. So give them different multiple reasons that they're coming back to the salon. Things right now we're not recommending is coloring angels, blondes, blonde angel wash, Blonde Angel treatment on hair like mine is a savior. So depending on your lifestyle, um, Autumn Angel for people who are red, orange, copper, you know, pastels, these products right now are priceless. So if we can start to recommend these products as well to maintain our client's hair at home, and you know, now that our clients are at home, I think this could start to create a really healthy habit of recommending what people are doing at home that maybe we weren't as good at before. But you know, the reality is our clients are in a similar situation today with not coming into the salon between visits as they were before. So let's just get really savvy on what we're talking about and why they're coming back. Does that help? That's great, Kate. Anything else we wanna to touch on? How do you guys, who's using PhD? Anyone love to hear any experiences um, with how you're going with the product? 
Um, we are setting up a webinar, not for next week, but the week after. And so there'll be a webinar on PhD, which will be one whole hour of information, how to use it, working with gray blending, tone on tone, refining hair, um, all of that great information about the line. So for the Kevin Murphy clients that we have, you know, it's a really great time to get educated. We have around the world around 10 or 12, maybe 13 color experts who are working, doing webinars, doing Facebook lives and, you know, get on our team's information. Also, you know, globally we have around 300 key educators and all of our keys are so well trained and educated. So they are also hosting webinars and sessions all the time. So reach out to your local distributor, see what they're teaching, reach out to your local educator and really get ahead and see what you can be learning now and what information you've missed that you need. So when you go back to the salon, you can become a real expert. Um, Pascal's running some really amazing cutting sessions on here and his work is like incredible. Nathan's running a session next week. We have Tim Abney and it will be Monday in the U US and Europe. It will be Tuesday in Australia and Asia Pacific. Um, and it's called Thriving When um, Times Change. So it's 7 a.m. Los Angeles, it's 10 p.m. New York, and it's the afternoon in Europe. So all of you guys can dial in. And you know, reality is the world is different. We live in a different place. Everything is gonna be different from today forward. So we need to work out how to thrive and how to do really well in this environment because things are not going back to how they were. So let's move forward, let's get innovative, let's come up with some great ideas and let's get educated. Hey Kate, um, another question and then uh, just for a clarification, the, the my segment is tomorrow. Oh, um, it's okay. And you have a question about how often do you recommend the color coloring angels? Okay, let me try that again. Tim Abney is doing an amazing session tomorrow, which will be 7 a.m. LA, 10 a.m. in New York, and it'll be the afternoon in Europe. On Monday, we have Janine Simons, who is doing the um, KM TV. And she's amazing as well. And so um, she will follow on from both of our discussions. Um, coloring angels. Now it's a really interesting one. It depends on my hair color. So with coloring angels, often I like to use it once a week on my hair. Um, when I've been pink, I would use autumn angel every time I condition my hair. Um, sometimes I would put it on my head dryer dry if I want like a more intense result. So just depending on my shade, but you cannot overuse them. They will rewash out. So they're not gonna be permanent on your hair and they won't color it too much. So I would recommend you use coloring angels as often as needed. And if it's every wash, then that's absolutely fine. Anything else? Thank you so much, Kate. Thank you so much, Kate. Everybody is loving all of the content, all of your great recommendations. Uh, thank you for making time for us today on KMTV. Thank you guys so much for having me. It's been fun. It's such a weird time talking to yourself in your lounge room and the sun's coming in now. So you can see it's early morning here in Sydney. Um, for you guys who are awake in Europe, thank you for joining me so late. And I really appreciate, you know, all of the support that everyone's giving the brand right now. All of us are working as hard as we can to support the salons. And each of you, especially for when we reopen and you know, our businesses are gonna be better, stronger, and we're gonna be better hairstylists, colorists because of this. I love you all and thank you for joining.